Whether you're a beginning student, a smaller student, or even a smaller female student in jiu-jitsu, getting crushed under side control sucks. This video is gonna show you how to prevent the pressure so you can escape without getting squished in the process. Hey guys, Coach Tom here. I'm here to talk to today about the number one complaint I get from white belts, which is I'm stuck under side control. Now, while there are many, many ways to escape from side control, the thing is most white belts are not in a frame of mind to execute these escapes because of the sheer amount of pressure on their chest. So we're gonna show you the number one tip you can do to make sure you keep weight off your chest. Now, obviously weight on your chest is bad for everybody, but female white belts like Jackie here get it double because as female athletes, obviously any weight on their chest is even more painful. So we're gonna try to use some tips that women and men can use to make sure the next time your partner tries to squish you inside control, you can not only not panic because you won't feel claustrophobic, but you're also going to be able to breathe. And as we know, if we can breathe clearly, we can think clearly, which means we can escape. So let's get started. So I have Jackie lying down here. And of course, she weighs 130 pounds. I'm 180 something pounds. So she's not gonna want my weight directly on her chest, okay? So this is what we need to do. She's never gonna keep her hands low. If she keeps her hands low like this, she will be powerless once I apply my weight to her. So she is gonna do one simple trick, okay? Her humerus bone here, okay, her funny bone, the bone in her upper arm, needs to point from her shoulder, which it always does, because it's attached there, to my spine. So, my spine runs down the middle of my body. So her two humerus bones are always gonna face my spine. So if I approach side control from this angle, Jackie would hold her elbows here. Now, Jackie isn't in the mood for bench pressing 180 kilos, but if I put all of my weight on her, she can hold it fine. She's not struggling, she's not panicking, she's not claustrophobic, and perhaps most importantly, she can breathe. Again, if I come from a different angle, she's gonna to have to lift her elbows up, okay? And she can hold my weight, no problem, okay? However, don't think it's as simple as just lifting your elbows up. Jackie must constantly keep her elbows facing my spine. If she lifts them up too high, she could get caught in head and arm chokes. So we always make sure we point our elbows towards our partner's center body mass, or if we want to be exact, their spine. So as I come to crush Jackie, she's got her elbows ready, and so with my full weight on her, she can hold up no problem at all. This is gonna mean less chest pain, less chest pressure, less mental strain and pressure. She's gonna be able to breathe, and she's going to be able to move, which means she can escape. So the next time you get squished, make sure that you get your elbows in place first because once I've crushed Jackie down, it's gonna be harder for her to get her elbows in place. So when you are getting your guard passed, sometimes you need to know when to hold them and when to fold them. And if she thinks I'm gonna get past her guard, instead of trying to stop me passing, she can get her hands ready so that when I come on, I come on to a nice structure like this. And once I have this structure in place, now she can hip escape and put me back into guard, okay? Because she had the space, she had the room, and most importantly, she had the mental and physical energy because she could breathe. Thanks for watching, guys. This is gonna help you so much, and let's hope you can get squished less and escape more. With this, I know you will. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you loved it. For more videos, click here. And if you wanna to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. I'm Coach Tom, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.